Hi there, my name is John Stevens. I'm pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we are part of the ELCA. And welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text and we tie them to an item from the Dollar Tree or the junk drawer or the kids' room or the garage. You know how we've been doing it. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your week with me in this way, and thank you for the love that you're sharing with your kids and your congregations and your families. You are rocking it. Thank you. This is for the narrative lectionary, and we are still in Daniel. It is one of my favorite books to do children's sermons around. That was heavily with my tongue implanted in my cheek. Anyway, it uh, it gets interesting, and we have a shift, a shift in thinking or a shift in direction in language, and um, the commentary on workingpreacher.com talks a little bit about that. I am talking about the end of this section where we hear about the king that is going to be forever, and that is God. So the springboard that I'm looking at, the springboard I'm looking at is something that I think is going to be around forever. And I'm thinking of uh, something like, I don't know, like Hershey chocolate or coffee or something that I am, that I love, that I'm drawn to, whether that be just plain chocolate, whether that be coffee, whether that be, um, I don't know, um, something, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of something that um, I, I want or I desire that I'm like, yeah, this is going to be around forever, but it's not going to be around forever. I mean, it feels like it's going to be around forever. Um, I, my brain goes to like, well, there's forever chemicals and things like that. But I'm, I'm looking at the things that I go, that I, I rely on. That I'm like, oh, this is, this is going to be around forever. And that's, no, the, the one, the one that is going to be around forever, the one that we ultimately can count on is God, is that love, that grace, that God that claims us, that holds us, that is always faithful, who always walks with us, and that in Daniel we hear that um, that the king, that that king, and it's that apocalyptic language, which is really where I get it's really difficult about doing any kind of uh, sermon around because uh, we there's certain I mean there's a lot of history and uh, recent history about using this in not very helpful ways. So again, I'm looking at uh, something that I love. That I go, this is going to be around forever. Especially, I don't know, maybe maybe a loaf of bread. You know, this is going to be around forever. Well, it's not. We know that it's going to get moldy and it's going to get gross and we're not going to be able to eat it. But I love it. It's going to be around forever. No. And we hear in Daniel, the, one, the king, the one that is... Um, that is now and forever, and that king is the one that we can rely on, and that king is there forever and ever. Amen. And so we hit that, there's that point of that liturgical, liturgical rhythm in there. Um, so that's the direction I'm going with this. I'm hoping this can be helpful for your own children's sermon. Um, I am looking forward to getting out of Daniel uh, there's, I mean, some good stories in here um, and some difficult ones as well. But I, that's where I'm leaning on right now is looking at um, the forever love and grace of our God. All right. Peace. I will see you next week where we are in Daniel once again. All right. I hope you have a fantastic week, and thank you again for the love that you're sharing with your kids and your congregations and your families. You, my friend are rocking it. Peace.